Good morning. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to present this case. So this is a case of small mid-esophageal diverticulum, which was successfully treated with targeted porn. Uh, this is not a video, this is a PowerPoint slide. Oh, PowerPoint. Yeah. Okay. How oh. can I? There's a control, yes. This one. Oh, I see. Okay, I have nothing to disclose. So this is a 64-year-old female with a past medical history of hypertension, IBS, GERD, status post and found application. She was found to have mid-esophageal diverticulum at the age of 50. Um, she presented with a worsening dysphagia in the upper chest area. So she complains, so she needs to put her chin down to swallow. And she denied any history of a pulmonary infectious process such as TB, and she denied smoking or alcohol. A sophogram demonstrates the two centimeter small diverticulum in the mid esophagus, which seems to underlie on the main bronchus. So since the, the esophageal diverticulum is often associated with uh, esophageal dysmotility, she underwent high resolution manometry, which demonstrates normal esophageal motility without any evidence of hypercontractility. Upper endoscopy demonstrates a two centimeter diverticulum located at the 24 centimeter from incisors. And uh, there was a thick muscle band with focal strong esophageal contraction between the diverticulum and the esophageal two lumen here. So I felt the popping sensation when I passed the scope through here. So, um, so based on this endoscopic finding, so this, the, the thick muscle band seems to contribute to the development of a small uh, diverticulum and her symptoms. So we decided to do the poem procedure to divide this muscle band. So this is a video of the procedure. So you can see that this, this is a true lumen here. I felt the popping sensation when I passed the scope. And as you can see that there is a very thick, the muscle band here and a small diverticulum here. So I created the 1.5 centimeter, the mucosa of entry, a two centimeter proximal to the muscle band and created the four centimeter submucosal tunnel. So as you can see here, the muscle band was easily identified. And uh, this is a two, the submucosal space, and this is a diverticulum here. And also that you can see the muscle layer extending to the, the di diverticulum. So this indicates this diverticulum is a true diverticulum. So the myelomy was initiated using the triangle tip knife. So based on the, the, the pre-op and uh, the esophagrams so of the chest x-ray, we know uh, they are, there were supposed to be the bronchus right be behind this muscle band. So the careful myelomy was performed under the direct endoscopic visualization here. So I didn't put the TT knife into the muscle fiber. So I tried to divide each muscle fiber under the endoscopic visualization. So the plastic cap on the tip of the endoscope um, gave the gentle pressure on the on the both edge of the myelomy. So that's the providing the good visualization here. So now you can see the bronchus right behind the, the muscle band here. So I try to complete, completely divide this, the, the muscle, muscle band. So this is a bronchus right here. It's actually a very scary view.
So once I completely divide this muscle band, I extended the myelomid approximately two centimeter distally to complete the myelomid. This is bronchus here. So at the completion of myotomy, as you can see here, the esophageal lumen became completely atonic, and I didn't, I didn't feel any more popping sensation. So I want to show you once again in the submucosal tunnel here. So this is a submucosal tunnel and the bronchus is here. The muscle band was completely divided and the myotomy was extended to two centimeter distally. I closed the mucosal entry with the end clip. So the postoperative course was uninventful. The esophagram on day one demonstrates atonic esophagus at the level of di uh, diverticulum without any evidence of leak. The patient was discharged home on post-op day first and she had a complete resolution of dysphagia postoperatively. So this is a six month follow-up endoscopy which demonstrates widely patent esophageal lumen with any, any uh, popping sensation and without any progression of diverticulum here. So she's very happy. In conclusion, the targeted poem is a less invasive and effective option to treat a small esophageal diverticulum so the, you can avoid the, the access to, into the thoracic cavity. And a short myotomy using a poem te technique may be sufficient if there are no manometric findings of esophageal motility disorders. Careful myotomy is critical to prevent accidental injury of adjacent organs such as bronchus. Thank you very much. <coughs>